Hi hey everyone, in this super quick video I'm going to show you how to customize your Minecraft world with edit mode, how to remove parts of the chunk or how to add chunks and so on. So the first thing we need is obviously you import the world, you have all your blocks selected, then you click on N, go to MC prep and prep materials, which I already did. But after that some of you might not know how to customize the world further and I've been getting some questions about it, so let's cover that. So let's say in my animation I want to use this area right here. And this area might be visible in the final animation, but some of you might have slower PCs, like I do. And really, let's say I want to remove this part. So the first thing I need to do is start removing everything one by one. So as you can see, we have grass here, grass blocks, some leaves, sand, and probably we'll have other stuff down here like the stones. So first thing I can do is let me turn on my screencast keys real quick so you can see what I'm clicking. First thing I recommend you to do is click on numpad 7 to access top view. Or you can also use these gizmos to access top view. So once I access the top view, I can see the world in the flat 2D view. So let's say after this green line, after these axes, I want to remove everything here per temporarily, not permanently. So I want to remove this and hide this while I'm animating. And then I'm going to unhide this after I finish the animation. So the way I do that is first, I, I selected this grass, for example. And then I'm going to click on 7 again to go to top view. Now what I need to do is I'm going to click on tab to go inside the edit mode. Now, for some of you, if you click on tab, the scene might get laggy, so careful about that. You can switch to solid view, solid view if it's too laggy. So I'm gonna go to material view to demonstrate this better. After I went into the editing, another thing I need to do is click on this, which is the X-ray button. So if I click on this, toggle X-ray, I'm gonna see more grass. So X-ray means I'm gonna see through other grass and I'm also gonna be able to select the grass, which is in the bottom, which is out of our view. So after I enable this, and after I'm inside material view, or I can also go to the wireframe view to see everything better, but that's up to you. After I did everything, I'm gonna click on B, box select, and then left click and drag everything. And left click and drag to select everything after this green line. Now, after I selected everything, I can click on P, and then click on selection. So what I did right now is, if you remember, this grass was one whole object, but now I separated this grass. So if I left click here on the left grass, I select this. If I left click on the other grass, I select this. Now, if I want to remove this grass, that's obviously easy to do. I can click on M, click on new collection and name this something like extra layer, where I can basically drop everything while I'm working on the animation and everything that I don't need to see while I'm working. So now if I click on this, check mark icon I can hide the extra layer and the grass will be hidden now I can do the same thing for everything else so again I'm going to go to top view I'm going to select the grass block go to tab edit edit mode make sure you have the x-ray selected D box select drag it with the left click then click on P selection tab to go out of the edit mode then left click to select the other chunk click on M and then move it into the extra layer and now it will be hidden so now we can do the same thing for the other blocks and let's let's do it again. For example, let's do this for the leaves. Go to 7, tab. Uh, make sure if, if everything is selected, you can click on Alt-A to deselect everything. Then I'm going to scroll out, box select, left click and drag to select everything. P, selection, then tab to go out of the edit mode. Go out of this view as well. The way I'm going out of the top view is I'm just clicking middle mouse and that's it. I'm going out of that view. Then left click, select this new list created object M, go to extra layer and that's it now i'm going to speed run this i'm going to do everything i'm going to time lapse this and i'm going to come back now i'm quickly going to pause the speed run time lapse and tell you that sometimes you don't need to separate the objects for example i selected this which is not going to be visible in the entire animation and it's on the right side and it's on the left side of my world as well. So if I'm not seeing and if I'm not going to be using it in my animation, I can just click on M and move it straight into the extra layer without having to separate the object. So you can do this for the other objects as well. For example, right here, I don't see the mine shaft in my animation. So I can select these, shift left, shift left click to select everything I don't need. And then here, M, move it to the extra layer now some of the blocks from this village were moved but i don't care because that's not going to be visible in my animation in this case i can select these blocks as well click on m extra layer move it to the extra layer and yeah just keep using the same principle if you want to see some blocks here make sure to separate them if you don't care about the blocks and you don't see them during your animating process then you can just click on 
M and then move it into the extra layer and then hide the extra layer. Now, also one thing, cool thing you can do is, for example, if I'm working here and uh, I'm using Shift F, by the way, or some of you might have Shift tilde enabled to fly. And then let's say I want to remove this grass block. Again, again, I can use the same principle. I can click on tab, go inside the edit view, click on three on my keyboard or click here to switch to the face selection mode. I can left click, shift left click and select the faces of this grass. I can click on X and then delete faces. Now, as you can see, I have a gap here and I can easily fill that gap. I can again select this grass block. And what I can do is first, I'm going to enable the magnet tool. So enable the snapping tool. Then click on Shift D, copy this, and then move it over here. Now I can go back to my selection and left click this, select this face, Shift D, copy it, and then replace it. Now, if I want to fill this gap, I can select one of the faces which is pointing in this direction. In this case, this face is pointing in this direction, so I can click on Shift D, copy it, and move it here. I can click on G and then move it back to its place. And then you can see I just cleared out this gap and that's how you can easily customize the Minecraft world, how you can optimize your performance, how you can change the look inside your world. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I would really appreciate if you gave this video a like. And also be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft animation tutorials once or twice per week. And I also do some of my young Minecraft animations, some challenges and so on. Also, if you want to learn how to animate faster and how to speed up your workflow, then be sure to check out this video right here. And I will see you there. Thank you for watching.